The soil at the core of Buckeye Lake Dam has remained untouched since construction was completed in the 1830s. Men with shovels and ox carts moved millions of pounds of earth to create the dam, which became part of the Ohio Canal System. There were no dam safety standards at the time of construction. Today, much of the earth that made up the toe of the dam has been removed to allow homes to be built into the embankment. Foundations and basements have been carved into the earthen structure. Trees, drainage systems, patios, and docks now cover the dam, each adding to the instability of the 200-year-old earthen structure. Over the years, temporary repairs have been made in an attempt to fortify the dam. However, the United States Army Corps of Engineers recently completed an examination of the dam, which indicates spot repairs and temporary fixes are no longer sufficient. Age and encroachments have weakened its structural integrity, making the likelihood of a catastrophic failure too large to ignore. Common issues that lead to failure and currently exist at Buckeye Lake include seepage, which is the erosion of soil from the dam's foundation, which can lead to rapid failure. Structural failures can occur when encroachments on a dam weaken the structural integrity of the dam. The potential loss of life and damage to property posed by Buckeye Lake Dam extends far beyond the homes that sit atop this structure. A catastrophic failure during a rain event would close Interstate 70 and could reach homes in Hebron, more than two miles away. This type of failure would threaten to impact the more than 3,000 people and 75 businesses that sit within the flood inundation zone. The men, women, and children that live and work in the area could have very little time to escape the water as it spreads across the region. During a 1990 flood event that struck Buckeye Lake and the surrounding area, 911 calls indicated that brown water was found in the basements of homes that had been built on the dam. This brown water is a telltale sign that seepage through the dam is eroding the earth that makes up and fortifies this structure. Evacuations were called for as the rain continued to fall, and sandbags were filled as the potential for failure grew. Fortunately, a disastrous outcome was averted when a failure in a feeder canal allowed water from the lake to escape into an adjacent floodplain. Had a full breach of the dam taken place, the floodwaters would have rushed into Buckeye Lake Village and nearby communities. Simply stated, the risks are too great to ignore. The dam at Buckeye Lake is unique in that homes, trees, and docks exist on the dam itself. While this provides easy access and beautiful views, it also has created unique risks for dam failure. These risks must be addressed now to protect the lives of the people that call this community their home.